Greetings YouTube, it's the Urban Dodger here. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you may be. I'm out in the woods today and it's a beautiful day so it's just really great to have you with me. The other day I got a new toy and I'd love to show it you. I got in the post a squirrel cooker. And I'm absolutely made up with this so it's the first time I'm going to take it out and test it with, with me so fantastic. So we're going to get this set up and let's have a look and we're going to cook some steak. So let's have a closer look at the squirrel cooker. Okay, so here it is. Nice and simple, just two pieces of metal. On one end here we have the skewer. Okay, it's a double prong for skewing your meat onto. And then on the opposite end we have your pot hanger. And then the other piece this holds on the other piece into place and this is your stake which goes in the ground. Now I was quite surprised actually how lightweight this is. I was a bit worried at first because I thought it's going to be quite heavy and it's going to be a pain in the arse carrying it around with me all day. But it's not actually that bad and it fits into my rucksack. And, uh, yeah, quite pleased with it so far. Okay, so I'm just going to stick my stave into the ground like so. And it's fully adjustable, you can have it at whatever height you need it to be. So we've, whether you've got a small or a big fire, or depending on the size of your pot, you can adjust the height by just sticking it into the ground further. Okay, and then this part, to attach it, all you do is stick it underneath and over and round, and that is it. Now, because of the genius way of the design of this squirrel cooker, I don't know if you can see this, the way it's bent around the pole and then up again, the weight is supporting itself. It's really clever. Now, if you wanted to hang a pot on this end, you could put your meat on this end. So you could do, if you wanted a big fire, you could put this right in the middle and cook both at the same time. However, today I'm not here for very long, so I'm just going to cook dinner and then I'm going to move on. So I'm just going to have a small fire. So I'm just going to be using the pot hanger and then I can always just twist it around and cook some meat on here. Okay, so I'm just going to do the silver birch bark technique. Make all these shavings scraped off the bark. And let's see if it all light. There we go. Okay, so on goes the squirrel cooker. So I think I want to put it around about here. Perfect. Okay, for dinner we have some 
potatoes. Okay, so let's get these potatoes on boil. In case with a steak, I'm going to adjust it a little bit closer, a bit lower. I reckon about there. So got some nice heat on the fire, some nice embers. So let's get some steak on. Okay, so, two nice big pieces of beef medallion steak. I'm gonna get them on now. One of the good things about this squirrel cooker is you can use it like a spit and you can twist and rotate the steak all the way around to make sure every bit of the meat is cooked. Yeah, it's really starting to cook now. I do like my steak nice and well done as well, so I'm gonna keep it on for quite a while. It's nice and crispy. Okay guys, what do you think of this? It's all ready to eat. I'm absolutely starving. Just need a little bit of pepper. I'm using the old uh, birch bark as a as a plate today. Something a bit different. There we go. Do you want some?
in the woods. Okay, time to chill out now and have some dinner. Been on my feet all day, I haven't stopped, so it's nice to just chill now and get tucked in. So I cannot wait for this. Mmm. Mm. Oh, potatoes nice and soft. And the steak. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. That, my friend, is fantastic. Cooked on an open fire with the squirrel cooker in the middle of the woods, ironically called the Squirrel Woods. Uh, I don't think I'll be catching any squirrel anytime soon, but you never know. But yeah, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Sure I can't tempt you? Do you not want some? Come on. Mm. Right guys, I'm going to carry on enjoying this. And I'm going to tidy up and set off home. So, catch you in a bit guys. Right guys, just before I go, I just want to say a big thank you for all the support and the nice comments that I've been getting on my channel lately. Uh, I've been on YouTube now for about two years and I've nearly got at 300 subscribers, which I'm quite pleased with really. I mean, for me, it's never been about chasing subscribers. I'm just doing my thing and doing what I want to do. And you know, if I get subscribers, then great. But so yeah, for 300 nearly, so that's fantastic. So um, yeah, so watch this space, I'm going to be doing a little um, competition soon when I get to there. And uh, yeah, a big thank you. So uh, if you like my videos, just comment, like, subscribe and share. It'll be much appreciated. Okay, so the squirrel cooker, first impressions. Absolutely brilliant. You know, I've never been so excited for anything since I was probably a kid at Christmas when I got it in the post. I've been really looking forward to using it as soon as I got it. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. So versatile, you can use it absolutely anywhere, fully adjustable. You know, you can use it for cooking steak on, for meat. Uh, you can use it as a pot hanger. You can hang bacon off it and cook your dinner. Just brilliant. It's just, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to use it so much more often. And it went really well today with my f food. Okay, so this squirrel cooker is going to provide all sorts of opportunities for me while I'm wild camping and when I'm out in the woods. Um, practicing bushcraft skills. It's all very well saying, oh yeah, well you know, you can use wood and sticks and do it that way and you know, make a pot hanger out of wood and carve some notches. I mean, yeah, and that's great and I've done that before, but I think this just provides so many more options and it's so versatile and you could take it anywhere you want and it will stick in the ground pretty much anywhere and it just makes things so much easier. You know, when, when you haven't got time or you're just out for a little bit, it's just nice to have a little, uh, little mess with without having to you know, do everything from scratch and build everything yourself. So yeah, I'm really made up with this. Okay then guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for coming on this little journey with me and sharing this moment in the woods with me. It's been a lovely day and I've had such a good time, but I've got to go now. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon. And until then, peace and be wild. See you guys. <laughs>